Who's my favorite student? You know what? But she's got a good friend. I'm a Chekhov. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Some of you are still thinking about it. I know. So these are equations for radioactive decay. When I showed you this, I think it was Julie's. Are these get tougher? Uh, they will when we actually look at nuclear reactions where you split the atom because then the numbers get bigger along the top and along the bottom. They're not all nice ones and zeros. But the procedure is still going to be the same. This row has to match and this row has to match. In fact, you know what? I think I can zoom in and make this a little bit larger so that people at the back can see. They can probably go to 200 times. Yeah, I can. First thing, for one mark, what type of decay is this? Why, it's, how could I tell? And this is meant to be obvious? Okay, the beta, the beta particle. Won't always be quite that obvious. Uh, the top has to match. I started out, uh, this here is the mass, not the charge. It's the mass. It tells you how many protons and neutrons there were originally, but it's the atomic mass of 216. These, this number and this number have to add to 216. Since a beta particle, which is also an electron, has a mass of zero, there has to be a 216 there. I'll tell you how part marks go in a second. And I started out with a charge of positive 84. So I have to have a charge of positive 84. And the only way that works with a negative 1 is if that's an 85. And this number then tells me what element it is. I gave away my last periodic table yesterday to somebody who shall remain nameless. Uh, what is element number 85? Help me out. AT? Is that actinium or act? Uh, what is AT? Uh, I can't read it, it's but is it actinium? No. What? Acetane. Acetane? Okay, there you go. How many things did I write in red there? Three. It's worth one mark, half mark off for each one you got wrong. So the way I mark these, one mark for that, one mark for that, but since there's three pieces of writing, half off for each one. That's wonky. Is that okay? Then let's keep going. Joseph, what is this little star here suggesting or saying or telling me? It's a stable element. But why did I put a star there? Actually, it's not a stable element. It's saying the nucleus has too much energy. It's unstable, but it's not going to get rid of a particle. What's it going to get rid of? I can't hear you. I should have ripped that out ages ago. Yeah, I don't care. You don't put the headphone in, Chief. So this is, uh, you said gamma. I agree. And I guess this time I'm just filling in the particle that was given off, which is a gamma ray, which has zero and zero. Double check, 58. 58 plus zero is 58. 26. 26 plus zero is 26. Uh, pretty sure this one's a beta decay. It is. Um, original mass must have been 216. Ooh, what's the original charge? Not 82. 81. Uh, what's element 81? Thallium. Which is TL or TH? TL. TL? TL. That's not T. You know what? I'm going to do this. Just so you know that's an L and not a T1 or something strange. You don't have to, but just in my marking key, so when kids are marking later, they don't freak out. Why is it T iodine? No, that's not an I. Uh, alpha? Uh, spell it right, Mr. Duke. Also a helium nucleus. Uh, okay, 234. I got four here. This has to be a mass of 230. And it looks like I have 89 protons left because two of them went with the alpha particle. And element number 89 is? Actin. Oh, uh, AC again? Yeah. I was trying to make up actual, uh, actually radioactive ones, so I was Googling. So you're going to see some repetition because not everything's radioactive. But remember, carbon and potassium are. All of you have eaten radioactive bananas every time you have a banana. Um, the fact that the masses don't change here 
Matt, that tells me this is either beta or gamma, mass of zero. Oh, I went from 15 to 16. You know what? This is beta decay, and it's going to be a mass of zero and a charge of negative one. Apparently, a phosphorus atom, one of the neutrons split, gave off an, a beta particle, and also we were left with an extra proton. So now instead of phosphorus element 15, we're sulfur element 16. One mark for gamma. Courtney says, that's what I call my grandmother. OK. Hi, gamma. No? Oh, come on. That was OK. Tough. Tip your waitress. Um, oh. You know what? Nothing's going to change because gamma rays aren't particles. They're rays. It just lost some energy. Uh, bismuth, element number 83. Bismuth 214 decays into, well, it must have a mass of 4, so I still add to 214. And it better have uh, two protons. You know what? That's an alpha particle. Number eight. Oh, this time I told you the decay. So, Rachel, it's going to be one mark for each blank. Again, half mark off for each mistake you make. If it's alpha, well, I know this. That's almost like filling in the blanks. That's almost like a free mark. You wouldn't be foolish looking at your phone or anything like that after I already talked to you on your own phone. No. Uh, 204. Element 80. Which is, uh, what is element 80? Merc mercury or lead? Is it, isn't it 82? Oh, it's 82 because I can't actually um, do the math right. Should have used your calculator. Shut up. Um, 82, which is lead. Lead 204. So apparently, is PO polonium? So polonium 208 is radioactive and it decays into lead 204 and an alpha particle. Can you give yourself a lovely score out of count them? 16 here, please. And then pass them inwards, making sure your name is on them.